Good morning. It's Thursday, August 4th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, Real Strength, and our scripture is Psalm, chapter 33. What joy for the nation whose God is the Lord, whose people he has chosen as his inheritance. The Lord looks down from heaven and sees the whole human race. From his throne he observes all who live on the earth. He made their hearts so he understands everything they do. The best equipped army cannot save a king, nor is great strength enough to save a warrior. Don't count on your war horse to give you victory. For all its strength it cannot save you. But the Lord watches over those who fear him, those who rely on his unfailing love. He rescues them from death and keeps them alive in times of famine. We put our hope in the Lord. He is our help and our shield. In him our hearts rejoice, for we trust in his holy name. Let your unfailing love surround us, Lord, for our hope is in you alone. The psalmist makes me think of the absurdity of strength, the far as the east is from the west difference between perceived strength and genuine strength. Imagine a four-year-old child angry at his father, swinging his fists wildly at dad's face. He imagines he will do damage, but doesn't have a strength that will sate his anger. Consider the imagination of a little girl dressed in her best Walmart princess costume. What throne in all the world belongs to her strength? It's all only in her mind. Picture a young man, three days after graduating from college, dressed in a new suit he purchased with his new credit card for the interview with a prospective employer. His bank account is down to eighty-four. But the bills from tuition to earn his degree weigh in at $86,000. There are two outs in the ninth inning, and he's down to his last swing at the plate. For all his accomplishment, the strength of that moment is sitting on the other side of the interview table. The genuine strength one possesses can never be measured except in relative position to absolute strength. It's often said that the President of the United States is the most powerful person on the planet. But the powers of the office, which by far supersede the powers of the human being in that office, are only granted by the will of the people who elect presidents. And even then, the checks and balances of our governance question that power. Genuine strength resides outside of time, space, and creation. Ultimate strength belongs to God alone. All else was and is subject to God's creative will, and the human created person, confidently believing in his own or her own supremacy, is about as hapless a fool as a gnat in a wrestling match with an elephant, no matter the perception of that person's strength by other created beings. For you today... Is your hope in your dreams, your abilities, your determination, or even someone who you perceive champions your best interests? Do you sense strength coming your way from that promotion, that salary increase, or new nutritional regimen? Have others told you how much they admire your accomplishments? Remember He who created all of what you see, hear, sense, and imagine, and so much more. His genuine strength is to be found in his unfailing love for you. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.